The Colosseum stands as a spectacular monument of the Roman Empire, a remarkable feat of architecture and engineering. The structure is so impressive that we almost forget that this arena was built for a gruesome purpose. Here, men battled, sometimes to the death, for the amusement of the crowd. Standing guard outside the Colosseum is the Roman sun god Solis. This towering statue of bronze had cosmetic surgery. Originally depicting Nero, an unpopular emperor who fell out of favor with the public for his extravagant spending habits, the statue was remodeled into the less controversial Solis. It took 24 elephants to drag this imposing figure from Nero's palace to its final resting place beside the Colosseum. The Colosseum, a massive stadium housing 50,000 spectators, was largely built on one simple building block, the arch. Each arch has a keystone which absorbs the weight of the building and redistributes it down two pillars. There are 80 arches along the perimeter of the lower rim, with two more levels of arches on top. The stadium was meant to leave the Romans and the whole of the ancient world awestruck with its spectacle, size and beauty. Statues and three styles of columns, Doric, Ionic and Corinthian, decorated the exterior. Welcome to the Colosseum. Here we fight for glory, for our lives and for our freedom. Some of us were soldiers who fought against the Romans, protecting our homeland. Now we are the entertainment. Our lives are in the hands of the crowd and Caesar. Fight well and live to fight another day. Otherwise, a trip through the gateway of death is our destiny. Unlike watching a game at a stadium today, a Roman citizen could not simply upgrade to a better seat by purchasing a more expensive ticket. Seating was based on a Roman's place in society. The emperor and his entourage had the best view of all from his private box. Flanking the emperor were the senators, the lawmakers of the empire. Next came the nobles of Rome, followed by common citizens. The citizens were divided into two groups, rich and poor. As one might expect, the wealthy got the better seats. In later years, one last section was added made entirely from wood. These nosebleed seats were for the lowest of the low in Rome, slaves, the common poor and women. The Colosseum a stadium built almost 2,000 years ago had a retractable roof called the Valerium. It's uncertain how it looked and functioned exactly, but it is believed sailors were brought in to open and close the enormous blinds and to shade the Romans from Italy's hot sun. Comfort was a concern as 50,000 disgruntled spectators could easily become an out-of-control mob. The Romans, geniuses of construction, built a two-level complex beneath the Colosseum floor called the Hypogeum, housing gladiators and wild animals. At any time in an event, trapdoors would open up on the floor to reveal new competitors or fierce creatures. A remarkably advanced elevator system made this possible. 